Thank you for visiting Stacy Jensen Photography and today's tutorial is on how to use your collage sets for Photoshop elements. This is very similar to the Photoshop tutorial I did but I wanted to make sure that you saw using your program just so that it may answer questions um, that, that you have because yours does look a little bit different in the layers palette. So since Photoshop Elements doesn't allow us grouping. Um, these don't appear as uh, clean as Photoshop, but that is no problem. All you have to do is take a look at um, your layers palette and understand a few things be go before going any further. So each of these boxes has two parts to it as a layer. Over here in your layers palette, you will have the actual area which you can see as the black square. You can also tell where it's relative to on this, um, on this canvas. But what is most important is the layer right above it. And you can see that it is used into um, a grouping for this. Anytime a layer steps over to the right of it, it means that it is attached to it um, using a clipping mask Type of a type of an option. So what you have to do to place an image into an area is to go onto the layer right above it, the one that is grouped with it, the one that is stepped over to the right a bit. You can see that this is stepped over just a bit, and click on it. So you have selected that layer. You go up to File, Place. And you're going to choose the image that you want to sit there. So let's, uh, let's find an image really quick. And I will do one from my last photo shoot as an example. And this is made so that it drops in at a full size and you'll need to resize it for this area. You know, when it comes in, uh, you will have the resize controls automatically. So you just have to be patient while it pulls in the image. And again, uh, while we're waiting, very important for you to look at which layer I did that to. Always work on the place layer. So it comes in and it's going to go into this box so you can see that we need to move the photo down a bit because we're, we're missing dad and uh, son's face. So you want to grab it and pull down or what, whatever you need to do to make your, your image in there. Um, but you can move your image around just by clicking on it and dragging. If you wanted to make it bigger, so you wanted to um, kind of zoom into an area, all you do is come over to one of the four corners and you're going to click your mouse, hold your mouse down and draw up or draw down whatever you need to do to resize it. Once I decide that that's how big I want it, then I can bring it back into the square a little bit more and then check mark to finish. What that does is it places the image nicely into the area and you're all set. So if you zoom in, you can see that um, everything that was that is bigger is just hidden. It places it very nicely. So you're finished with that layer. Now you go through your layer palette. Again, you've done the first one and as you can see now it shows uh, the small little image in your clipping mask. You can go on to your next one. So this one is the lower on the lower image. That's all you have to do. It's fairly simple. Um, if you have any other questions, please contact me. Thank you.